Hey guys, I'm Eric with Extreme Terrain. In this video, we're going to do a review and install of this Body Armor 4x4 Desert Series rear bumper for all 2016 and later Toyota Tacomas. Now this bumper is really going to appeal to the Tacoma owner who wants a more aggressively styled, off-road style bumper that's going to add serious upgrade and protection and will help complete a blacked out look, especially if you already have an aftermarket bumper on the front of your truck. Now I happen to personally think that this is one of the more stylish offerings we have here at Extreme Terrain for Toyota Tacomas. However, styling is not its only high point. The other selling point with this bumper is really the upgrade and protection. As you'll see a little bit later in this video when we do a side-by-side -side comparison with your stock bumper, you're gonna see that the durable steel construction of this bumper offers a really serious upgrade and protection, especially with the design that wraps around the edges for added protection at the corners of your truck. Talking a little bit more about the design features of this bumper, a couple of nice things is that it easily mounts over top of your factory trailer hitch and it also transfers over very easily the wiring harness for the hitch. You also have built-in fixed mounting points for additional LED cube lighting, which will help light up if you need to align a trailer hitch at night or in dark conditions, as well as maybe other conditions around the campground or other situations where you need additional light in the rear of your truck. A couple of things I do want to point out about this bumper, however, is that out of the box, there is no accommodation for license plate lighting. You are going to have to find your own solution to that. They're commonly available at most auto parts stores. However, that is something you're going to have to deal with because I believe in most states that's a legal requirement to operate. Also, with this bumper, there are no D-ring attachment points or other off-road oriented features that you might find on other bumpers, which of course we do offer at ExtremeTerrain.com. Now coming in around $650, this is not the most expensive rear bumper for your Tacoma that we offer here at ExtremeTerrain.com. It's also not the cheapest. It's kind of right in the middle of the road. And if some of those off-road features that I just mentioned a moment ago really aren't that important to you, that would make this bumper a smart investment. Now as far as the installation goes, we're rating this a two out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter on our website. I think that's a real basic two out of three. And to be honest, the most difficult part of this whole job is disassembling your factory bumper and all the associated pop clips and hardware. The actual installation of this bumper is quite easy. It fits up nicely. The fit and finish of this bumper is well designed and it bolts on very easily. I would say you'd have no problem getting this job done in around an hour. So let's take a look at the tools we're gonna to use and go ahead with our installation. Okay guys, the tools you're gonna to see in this video we're gonna be using is an electric impact wrench, 19, 18, 17, 12 and 10 millimeter sockets, a Phillips head and a flathead screwdriver, a trim removal tool, 16 millimeter crescent wrench, a pair of socket wrenches, and an air impact ratchet. Okay guys, first we're gonna show you a clip on how to get the stock bumper removed off this exact truck, and then I'll be back to show you how to get your new body armor rear bumper installed. So the first step of our install is to take off our license plate. Now for this, I'm gonna use a Phillips head socket. However, this is gonna depend on what hardware that you have holding on your license plate. You may need a 10 millimeter socket. Now that our license plate is removed, that's gonna expose one of the clips that we'll have to remove in order to remove our bumper here. Next, we can head underneath and disconnect the wiring harness for our hitch plug as well as our license plate lights. So our next step is to disconnect our hitch plug. This is just gonna have a tab up on top. We're just gonna press down on that tab and pull back. That's gonna release our wiring harness. And then what we can do is just pop that out completely because we're gonna have to swap that over. So I usually take a flathead screwdriver and just depress these clips that are just holding it onto the bumper here. So once both of those clips are through, we'll be able to wiggle this out and forward. So after we've removed our hitch plug here, there's a wiring harness right next to it up at the top that's connected to the body and that's also connected to the bumper. What I'm gonna do is disconnect this and then we can move on to our license plate lights. Just have to depress that tab and pull back. 
So our next step is to remove our license plate lights and disconnect the wiring harness for this. Now what I like to do is just pop it through the bumper. That makes it a little bit easier because this is kind of a tight space to work with, especially to unplug a wiring harness. Now what I'm gonna do is take a flathead screwdriver and just depress the clips on either side of the light. That's really what's holding it into the back bumper and we're gonna have to swap these over in just a second to our new bumper anyway. So if you just push forward, and depress those clips just like we did with the hitch plug, we'll be able to remove this light. What we can do next is remove the couple of clips that are holding on this trim piece. Now I already kind of pried up on this trim piece here, um, so it is going to be pretty easy to remove. Now if this is the first time that you're removing this trim piece, it is going to be pretty difficult to remove, but it's only held in by a couple of clips on the bottom and then a couple of clips on the front behind the license plate and two on either side down at the corner of the trim piece. So I'm gonna take a soft pry tool and remove this clip up top and then we can head down to the corner. I'm going to use that same soft pry tool, take out this clip, we can remove the one on the other corner and then we can pull off our trim piece. So like I said, I already pulled up on this and removed most of these clips. Now this trim piece is going to be a little bit difficult at first to take off just because of the multiple clips, but this is going to expose most of the bolts that we need to remove in order to remove our bumper as a whole. So we can put this to the side and grab our tools for our next step. Next, we can remove the two bolts underneath that are holding on the bottom portion of our bumper. I'm gonna use a 12 millimeter socket and my electric ratchet to remove those. Then we can do the same thing on the other side. Now directly above the frame rail from the ones that we just removed, there's gonna be two more 12 millimeter bolts. I'm gonna use the same 12 millimeter socket to remove them. Then we can repeat that for the other side. Last but not least, we can remove the two bolts that are in the middle, holding our bumper onto the hitch assembly here. I'm using that same 12 millimeter socket. At this point, what we can do is just remove our rear bumper by pulling back. All right, guys, now that we have our factory bumper off of our Tacoma, I set it up here next to our new body armor bumper that we're gonna be installing here in just a minute. Now, it's pretty obvious, this is a huge upgrade in protection. You know, removing this factory bumper, I'm a fan of Toyotas, but I gotta tell you, there's not a whole lot in terms of protection for the rear end of the truck when it comes to your factory bumper. It's really the thinnest metal frame holding up a plastic facade and that really is not going to offer you much protection at all. This bumper from Body Armor is a huge upgrade. Not only that, it's protected in a nice thick durable black powder coat that's going to protect it from weathering and corrosion. You also have the option of adding some backup lighting in this area and the same thing on the other side and you can transfer over your factory trailer hitch in the opening right there. The other nice thing about this design, speaking of protection, is the wraparound design here to protect the corners of your truck as well. Overall, really a huge upgrade in protection. It's a nice high clearance bumper and it has that desert runner kind of look to it. Overall, I really like it and it's a huge upgrade. So let's go ahead and get it installed. All right guys, one thing we're gonna do before we take the bumper off the stand here is take the factory trailer wiring hitch and just insert it here. And it's well-designed, cut there, pops right in, no problem. Okay guys, to attach the body armor bumper to your truck, we're gonna have one bolt coming in from each side and then two coming up from the bottom. So I have a friend here that's gonna help me out. We're gonna line it up and start the bump, or start the bolts from the side in just to keep it hanging there for safety.
Now the bolts we used in from the side are the two largest bolts that come in a kit with this bumper. Also use a washer on each side as well as the lock nuts that come with the kit. All right guys, now we have the truck up in the air on a lift just to give you a better angle on the shot. You by no means need to lift your truck to do this installation yourself at home. You can have it sitting on the tires, no problem. You don't even have to jack up your truck at all. But I wanna show you, this is the bolt we started just to keep it up there for safety's sake. Uh, but we're also gonna add these bolts that are out of the kit. There's four of them. And starting with a washer, just hang them from the top like that. And then use another washer and these nylon lock nuts from the bottom. And then as you can see, these are kind of elongated openings right here where the bolts are coming through. That allows you to adjust this outward and inward, as you can see, and up and down as well with this bolt up here. And that's so you can get it nice and tight as you want up against your truck. If you want a little extra gap there, because you're expecting to use your truck quite hard out on the trail and you don't want this uh, bumper torquing around and banging into your bodywork, you can kind of give it a little more room. Or if you like a tighter fitment, go ahead and slide it that way, it's adjustable. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten these up. The nuts are 17 millimeter and up here on the bolt, I'm gonna grab a 16 millimeter crescent to hold it still. Now those are tightened up a little bit you're going to want to check fitment and make sure that the bumper is where you want it to be. You can adjust it in and out and some people might like it out a little bit, give it a little bit more play if you're going to be working your truck hard out on some trails, doing some extreme off-roading and your truck's going to be torquing a little bit, you might want a little bit more of a gap between the bumper and the bodywork for your truck. Otherwise you might like it a little bit tighter for a nice cleaner look and appearance, but you can pull this out quite a bit like that or tuck it up nice and tight. Either way, there's not a whole lot of height adjustment you can do with this bumper, because once you bolt these up to the frame, they're bolted up. So we're gonna put it in a little bit tight and we're gonna cinch these down. Now that we have the placement where we want it, again, 16 millimeter crescent up top and a 17 millimeter socket down below. And you can repeat the same steps on the other side for these bolts. We're also gonna tighten these up up here. We're gonna use an 18 millimeter crescent on the outside here and a 19 millimeter socket on the inside. I kind of switched up my tools there, guys. I used opposing socket wrenches, made it a little bit easier than trying to get a crescent wrench in there. So go ahead and repeat that on the passenger side. Now that we have the bumper mounted, guys, go ahead and reconnect your trailer wiring harness. Okay, guys, that wraps up this review and install of this Body Armor 4x4 Desert Series rear bumper for all 2016 and later Toyota Tacomas. And of course, for all things Tacoma, keep it right here, extremeterrain.com.